The 2023 high school football season has absolutely flown by in the borderland. It's already the final week of the regular season in New Mexico and week 10 in Texas. That being said, the next two weeks are crucial for playoff standings in El Paso, especially in District 16A. It all started tonight around the area. We will start at the sack where Pebble Hills could clinch a playoff spot with a win over Eastlake. The Falcons trying to stay in the hunt. Dana Dimmel on hand to watch Gael Ochoa, of course, committed to UTEP. And here is Mr. Ochoa in the first quarter rolling to his right. Look at the throw here to Zary and Corals diving stays in bounds inside the five yard line. They'd have to settle for a field goal here. This is Aaron Ortega drilling it through for a 10 to nothing lead. Let's go second quarter now. Same score. Luke Lomely. He can do a lot of things with his legs dancing around in the pocket. This is on third and long. Finally, we'll rear back and find Paul Herrera for the first down. First and goal inside the 10. Later in the drive, he will do the same thing. Lomely to his right, all the way back to his left. But this one intercepted by Tyler White. It was 10 to nothing Pebble Hills at the half. The Spartans win 31 to 21. They finish the regular season 8 and 2 to clinch a playoff spot. They will have a bye next week. We'll stick with District 16A. Coronado hosting Socorro. The T-Birds fresh off an upset off of Medicas looking for their third straight win. About a minute to go in the first half. Socorro down 42 to nothing, but looking for their first score of the game. Travante Thrasher goes to Diego Aguirre, and he would break loose and score on the long touchdown. The Bulldogs get on the board before the break. They were looking to score again in the third quarter. Thrasher to Jacob Gonzalez, but he fumbles it away. Coronado jumps on top of it. That's Lucas Gonzalez ensuing T-Birds drive. Cody Hunt with the rushing touchdown there for the Thunderbirds. Coronado wins 52 to 7. They're four and five. They can still make the 6-8 playoffs. They need to win next week and then get a lot of help, but it can happen theoretically. Final week of the regular season, as we said, the land of enchantment. Chaparral hosting Santa Teresa. Both these teams looking for their first win of the season. First quarter, it's the Desert Warriors in the red zone on fourth down. Chaparral's defense would get the stop, though, and present, prevent Santa Teresa from scoring later on fourth down. The Lobos pull out the fake punt. However, this one would come up short. Good defense there by the Desert Warriors to get the turnover on downs, and they would take over. They march to the 20 yard line. Nicholas Vieira runs it on in 4 6. The Desert Warriors win it 22 16, their first win of the season in the final week of the season. One more score from the region. Alamogordo beat Oregon Mountain 27 0 in Las Cruces. The Knights finished the season 0 and 10. Be sure to tune in to KTSM tomorrow night, 10 15, for week 10 of nine overtime. There's district championships up for grabs all over the borderland in Texas and New Mexico. The whole 9 OT crew will be with you to break it all down. You do not want to miss out.